For the next week, he'll meet with political and business leaders promoting Canada as a land of investment opportunities. Much of his focus will be on bolstering trade, of course, between the two countries, which has almost doubled in the last decade. And Canada hopes to make some progress on free trade talks, which have been underway for a while, since 2010. But now also on the agenda, a possible meeting with an Indian politician who publicly accuses Trudeau of having sick separatists in his cabinet. David Cochran has more on the Prime Minister's attempt to deal with that controversy. It was a touristy start to a state visit, a family tour of the Taj Mahal, India's most famous landmark. For me to be able to be here on an official trip while bringing my kids with me to share this is, uh, is really special. But as he tours a monument of the past, the Prime Minister is trying to deal with a controversy of the present. At the center of it, this man, Amarinder Singh, Chief Minister of India's Punjab region. As recently as this month and many times before, Singh has accused Trudeau's cabinet ministers of being sympathetic to Sikh separatists who want to create an independent Sikh homeland known as Khalistan. Each time, it has prompted strong denials. I find that absolutely ridiculous, and uh, uh, us being sucked into some internal politics. I've been a police officer. I've served my country, and any allegations like that is absolutely ridiculous, and I find it extremely offensive as well. Throughout my life, uh, uh, I have been one of the strongest uh, opponents of uh, the Khalistani movement that you have been, uh, you have referred to. But Singh isn't the only person making this claim out loud. The accusation has also appeared in Indian media. So now that the key ministers are in India, they are looking to talk, reaching out today to request a meeting between Singh, Harjit Sajjan and the Prime Minister, less than a year after Singh snubbed Sajjan on a separate trip to India. All of this a surprise development on the first day of a state visit, which started with photo ops, and family outings. The Prime Minister has said many times at home that Canada supports a united India. But given that those statements have failed to make this controversy go away, Justin Trudeau clearly feels the need to deliver that message here on Indian soil and directly to Amarinder Singh's face. David Cochran, CBC News, New Delhi. This trip to India is Justin Trudeau's first as Prime Minister, but he's been there before. He accompanied his father, then Prime Minister Pierre Elliott Trudeau back in 1983. There he is in the red shirt. Uh, it was the Commonwealth Conference. Arriving back here some 35 years later with his wife and their three kids and revisiting the famed Taj Mahal turns out to be a nostalgic thing. When I was here 35 years ago, I was uh, 11, just a year older than Zav. Uh, and we were here on an official trip uh, with my father and I came down to see uh, Agra and the Taj Mahal and I didn't get to come with my dad because he was stuck working back in New Delhi uh, and being able to enjoy this as a dad with my kids is really nice. Trudeau's family along with six cabinet ministers continued their five city official visit of India until the end of this week.